What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on another powerful Android smartwatch, jam packed with some great specs and features and is also capable of running full Android games and apps. So this is the all call W1 3G Android smartwatch. So as usual, we'll begin with a quick unboxing followed by a walkthrough of the watch features and apps included. We'll also run a quick real-time battery test, some gaming and finish off with benchmark tests to see how this compares with other current smartwatches. So let's begin with the specs. I'll put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. You have a 1.39 inch AMOLED screen with a resolution of 400 by 400. The CPU is the MediaTek MT6580M quad core running at one gigahertz. You got two gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage, Bluetooth version four, GPS, Wi-Fi BGN. You have a 3G nano SIM card slot, Android version 5.1. You got a built-in heart rate monitor and pedometer and a 400 milliamp battery. This watch is not waterproof. You cannot submerge this into water. So this is everything you get in the box, beginning with a user manual, a screen protector, a mini screwdriver, a charger cable, this is one of those magnetic charger cables and I'll show you that working in a bit. And last but not least, the latest all call W1 3G smartwatch. Wow, look at that. What a nice looking smartwatch. I absolutely love the color and design. It's made completely from metal and gives a very professional look. You have these time markings going around the watch face and overall it's, uh, it's very, very attractive. So the straps are made from leather, finished in black. I have no idea if it's real leather or not, but they look great and feel very comfortable to wear. And also it's great to see that the straps are actually removable. So you can use your own strap on this watch. So on the side, we have a power button and back button. On the other side, we have a single speaker. And at the bottom of the watch, we have the heart rate monitor, the charger pin and a SIM eject tray. So you can insert your SIM card by simply lifting this SIM eject tray up and today I'm actually going to insert my own nano SIM card as quite a few of you have requested this. So here it is guys, easy to install and this watch is unlocked to all networks so you can use any SIM card you like. I'm going to be using my UK GIFGAF SIM. So I just want to quickly show you the charger pin. It's magnetic and clips on with ease. And the watch takes around two and a half hours to fully charge and we'll be testing the battery life later on in the video. So my SIM card is installed, I'm all set, now let's get this powered up. So when you first switch on the smartwatch, it will guide you through some very easy step-by-step -step instructions on how to get started. This involves scanning a QR code on the watch, which will then allow you to download the correct app for your smartphone. And this works on both Android and iOS. And within a few minutes, you'll be set up and ready to go. So setup is complete, I am connected to my Samsung S8, now all notifications from my phone will be pushed to my new smartwatch and this is the default watch face. And for the first time, I have to say the default watch face is actually quite nice. So you have multiple watch faces built in and to change, all you do is press the center for two seconds and you will then be presented with a good choice of different watch faces that you can instantly change to. And here are a few examples of the watch faces available. So when you get to the end of the list, you will see a plus sign, which you can tap to gain access to a whole library of free downloadable watch faces. And any of these watch faces can be downloaded and installed in seconds. And for example, if I click this one, you will see that it's already installed. It's so quick to install. And um, if we keep going, there's a lot of choices here, some brand new watch faces that I've not seen before. You've got some very unique looking watch faces. Oh, look at this one. So I've just installed that as well. Now let's go back, press the back button. So these are the watch faces I've just installed. They will appear at the end of the list. So I've installed two. 
So this one's a, a chrome effect with Roman numerals and it does look quite good. It does go with the watch. Now let's check out the Armani one. So this is like, like a fake version of Armani. It looks, it actually looks really nice. It actually goes well with the color of this watch. So I'll probably keep this as a default watch face. So let's go through the watch features. If you swipe down from the top, the first thing you will see is your connection info. If you then swipe to the left again, you will have your quick toggles for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, location, airplane mode, screen brightness, and a few more options. If we swipe to the left once more, you will have your pedometer, which keeps records of your daily movements, step taken, etc. And it will sync with your smartphone and provide you detailed reports to show you how active you are every day. Gives you information like distance, calories, speed, etc. So if you're into fitness, this is an awesome feature. So now if we swipe to the right, you have your notifications. You will receive all sorts of notifications from your smartphone, which you can read, but you cannot reply. However, we have installed a SIM card on this. So if I receive a text message directly on the watch, that will also appear in notifications and I will immediately be able to reply to that text message directly on this smartwatch. Now if we swipe up from the bottom, you will have access to your weather information. So now if we swipe to the left, you will see all your system apps. Let's quickly go through them. You've got contacts, phone, Bluetooth call, health, messaging, music control, remote capture camera, settings, browser. You've got music, gallery, clock, file manager, find my device, sound recorder, weather information, calendar, voice searches, the Play Store. So this is the official Google Play Store. It will give you access to thousands of free games and apps that you can directly download onto this watch. Then we have Google Maps supporting turn-by-turn -turn navigation. So this watch effectively becomes a sat-nav. The next option is switch platform. So if you're using Android, you can open the app and you can switch platforms from Android to iOS or vice versa. And the last one is Connect Phone. So if you click on Connect Phone, you will see the QR code, which will enable you to download the app for either iOS or Android. So let's go back out of this. Now, while we're here, I want to have a quick look at the Health app. So let's find the Health app, open it up, and you have here your heart rate monitor and pedometer. Now, the pedometer you've already seen the shortcut for. If we click on Heart Rate, and turn the watch over, you can see the green light is on. If I put it on my wrist, it will now calculate my heart rate. So 30 seconds later, I've got my heart rate with the date and time stamp, so the information gets saved. This smartwatch has something very useful, which I have not seen in other similar type of smartwatches. You can make and receive phone calls via Bluetooth. So you have best of both worlds, standalone nano SIM card, and phone calls via Bluetooth tethering. I wanted this feature for ages and finally the All Call W1 has provided it. Typing on this smartwatch is actually quite good. Even with my fingers I'm able to type quite well and this is what the text messages look like once you send them. So I just downloaded some full Android apps that we will use to test the performance of this watch. Let's begin with Beach Buggy Racing. So this smartwatch has a 400 milliamp battery 
And to give you guys a very rough idea of what to expect in terms of battery life, we'll run a 30 minute on-screen test and we'll see the consumption at the end. So what I've done is left it on medium, Bluetooth is off, I've taken the SIM card out and I've only left Wi-Fi on. Okay, so here's here it is. The screen's going to stay on for 30 minutes, I'm doing nothing, it will just keep the screen on and that's the default watch face. So let's start the timer. So I'll be back in 30 minutes. So here are the results for the on-screen battery test. We went from 100% to 88% in 30 minutes. That is a 12% drop in 30 minutes, which basically translates to 96% drop in 4 hours. So you can get around 4 hours of on-screen time with this smartwatch. To give you guys a quick reminder, here is the result of the same test I did with a few other popular smartwatches. And if you missed that video, I will link that in the description. So quick look at CPU-Z shows that this device does not come rooted. In the Antutu benchmark test, we got 20,857. So let's see how that compares with the others. And here is my top performing smartwatch chart for 2017, showing you all the latest smartwatches and seeing how they compare with each other. So this brand new smartwatch, the all call W1, has rightfully taken position two on this chart. It'll be very interesting to see what smartwatch I get next and what overall score it will achieve. So stay tuned. So there you have it guys, that was the all call W1 Android smartwatch. So let's break it down with some pros and cons. The watch is made completely from metal, feels durable and looks very professional. It actually looks like a designer watch. At the same time, the watch is light and very comfortable to wear. You can add a nano SIM card and it will effectively become a full featured smartphone capable of running full Android apps and games. This is quite a powerful smartwatch and everything I did on it ran super smooth with no lag or any other issues. The AMOLED screen is beautiful and ultra bright. The biggest surprise in this watch is a Bluetooth phone calls via tethering. So this watch lets you make and receive phone calls via Bluetooth. This is a great feature saving you having to take your phone out of your pocket as you can see who is calling or texting you directly on the watch. The only letdown is the battery life is not the best. And although saying that, the battery life is certainly not the worst we have seen so far. I am able to achieve up to 8 hours on medium to light usage. Then it takes around 70 to 80 minutes to fully charge up again. Bottom line, this is an amazing smartwatch with some great new features. I absolutely love the design, AMOLED screen and speedy performance. This is now currently my favourite smartwatch and with that being said, I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Let me know in the comments what you think of this smartwatch. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.